There's a difference between trip and falls and slip and falls. Slip and fall, there's usually something on the ground, some substance, uh, be it water, be it something that caused someone to slip and fall. A trip and fall, and we've had these, there might be a construction defect, it might be uh, you go to a wedding, they have some carpeting down, it should be taped down, it's not taped, you catch your foot, you trip, you fall. Uh, we had one lady, she had a house, and they had laid a new, uh, steps down from her house, but they'd left the concrete form, the forms, the wooden forms that had broken, and she tripped over that and injured herself. They're supposed to remove those, and they didn't. They left it set there for three days. So in that case, we had enough information where the insurance company felt we could prove our case. We didn't have to go to trial, and we collected on it. At first, they denied it, denied it, denied it, but you really have to know what you're looking for on premises liability.